Welcome back to Ayastack. In this video, I will show you how I would deploy a Docker container project to Google Cloud Run with the help of Cloud Build CI CD. So, so this would be a continuous deployment with the help of the GitHub repository. So I have created a GitHub repository. I will connect this repository with the Google Cloud Build and uh, with that connection, it will automatically, uh, uh, whenever I commit something, it will automatically deploy my changes here. Okay. So before uh, we begin, uh, uh, you have to go to the Google Cloud Build and here you have to, one second, you have to connect it. You have to connect this repository and to connect the repository, you have to go to the container registry So I think it was in the Google Cloud build. Yeah. So in the manage repositories. Yeah. So you have to come here in the manage repository. I have uh, added this link, this one. I would remove it to show you that how I would connect it. So I have disconnected the existing one. So so I will show you from beginning, you have to click on the triggers, you have to click on the manage repositories. And by the way, this cloud build is available in this sidebar. If you click on these, uh, man, this menu icon, you will find the cloud build here. So click on that, you will find the Google cloud build page. And on this page, you have to click on the triggers. From the triggers, you have to click on the manage repositories. And from here, you have to click on the uh, connect host for the first time. Uh, not host actually. You have to click on the click. Uh, you have to click on the connect repository. From here, click on the GitHub, and now click on the continue button. You have to authenticate. If it will show you a consent screen, I already have authenticated, so it has automatically uh, selected this GitHub account. And in this, I will see the list of all of the available repositories that I can use to connect with uh, cloud build after uh, you have to select this and now click on the connect button after it is uh, repository connected so you have to uh, very far very first time you have to create a trigger click on the create trigger and type any name I would say test and here you have to mention the branch I want to use the master branch uh, or maybe for now let's keep any branch so if we push something in any branch it will be triggered so after that you uh, should select the docker file option from here and uh, uh, at the end, you have to click on the create button. It will use the Docker file from your project. Right now, uh, there's nothing in our project. So, but when we, whenever we will add something in our project, if we push it, it uh, this figure would also be, uh, would automatically be executed and it will start to build that Docker file for us. So that would be very first step. So for, let's uh, open the project. This is a, a github project that i have opened in my vs code in there you have to open a docker you have to create a docker file and uh, after other than that you also have to add the files for your project for now i'm going to deploy a very static website to uh, through docker file so i will just create a, an index file you can add many more files if you want. Your, your website might have many more pages, many more web, uh, uh, files and CSS files and things like that. You can do that. But now my website has only one file. So I will just add some basic starting, basic starting code. So I would just add H1 heading. Hello, Ayaz Tech. So this is the very basic uh, uh, web page that I want to uh, build with the help of Docker file. So in the Docker file, I want to use HTTP. 
there is uh, uh, there is uh, an image that we should use we can find it from the docker hub open the hub.docker.com and here you can just search for httpd i guess yeah this is the uh, official image and this will provide you apache http server project out of the box you don't have to install anything you just have to mention the name of the image so select it and add it here and below you have to copy all of your project files into the uh, into the directory where uh, uh, this server would use uh, your files to serve to the web page so this is the command that you have to use so this is the actually path that uh, uh, would be inside inside the http httpd server so type copy dot and space and so here it it would actually uh, copy from the existing uh, folder all of the files uh, into the whole uh, spt docs folder of the container okay so this is how uh, it would work this path might be different for different images if you use a different Im image for example you want to use nginx server then uh, this path might be different but for this server you have to use this path so once it will upload uh, this file into this uh, location then uh, your website would start working i have saved it i think for now that's all uh, that we need to do you can now just commit it and push it to the github to trigger the google cloud build so let's see so my files i committed it now i will push it to the github let's see if uh, it becomes available there Okay, I just have pushed my changes to the GitHub. So you can see that my files have been uploaded to the GitHub. And uh, now the trigger should have been trigger, uh, started already. Uh, if I click on the dashboard, you will see that uh, it has actually built it. So it also uh, has a reference of the commit. If you click on the commit, it will open the commit that you just pushed. I pushed this commit. So, so it has already built uh, the Docker image. So next step is that uh, you can just, if you want to see that where this image has been uploaded, you can come here and you can click, click on the container registry. And here, uh, you can find it so here in the github.com you will find a stack your github account name and this is the project name and this is the docker image that is just uh, created okay so now i will click on the deploy to cloud run it will automatically uh, pick the version from it and after that you can add the any name from here and here uh, somewhere i want to add a port as well uh, yeah here you must have to specify the port in my case uh, i want to use the port 80 of the container because port 80 was exposed by the container so i will use port 80 and all of the things are fine i guess 
so now you can click on the create button something is missing yeah you have to click on this all other unauthenticated invocations are allowed for now i use this one and now click on the create button so it will take some time uh, maybe few seconds or few minutes after a okay i think it is deployed you can see it is green in green color now you can open this url let's see look at this uh, your website is live and running perfectly fine it is uh, hello elastic it is the same heading that you added so next we want to test if we uh, push another commit then uh, if it updates the website automatically or not so for that we have to set up the continuous uh, continuous deployment click on that and click on the repository that we want to use and after that just click on the next button and here you have to use the master branch click on the docker file and click on the save button so so it is uh, creating creating a new uh, cloud build trigger for you so uh, the old trigger would not be used anymore because it has created its own trigger that would be used from now on so if you push any commits uh, in the future that trigger would uh, be used and that trigger would deploy uh, its changes uh, to this cloud run so it is uh, uh, creating that trigger we have to wait for some time after it is done then we can push another commit to test it so by the way if you want to see the logs you can click here to see what is going on so this is the new trigger that is currently running it is building uh, that docker image for us so give it some time so you can see that now we have two triggers the one that we created earlier we don't need it anymore uh, we can delete it now and the, this is the new trigger that was created automatically by the google cloud run so let's see if uh, it is completed yes it uh, uh, this trigger has been uh, the process for this trigger has been completed so now we can test if it works or not so you can come back to the cloud run to see everything is normal yes everything is i think normal so now i'm going to change something so i will add some extra text after the ias check google cloud build and cloud run are very easy okay now i will commit it so push it to the github okay it is pushed now if you reload this page you will see that a, a loader would appear here that will show that it is being deployed for you automatically so look at this the process has uh, been started after uh, your recent push uh, commit push so it will take uh, around one minute or more depending on the uh, docker image that you have made or depending on the changes that you have specified after that it would be live you can see it is green again so if it is green then that means you are ready to test it so open this link again and let's see uh, this is showing from the cache you have to uh, hard reload it you have to clear the cache for that uh, hold shift and press this command uh, pr hold press and hold command shift and click on the reload button uh, one second yeah the cache has been removed and now it is showing the latest uh, data that you just have pushed 
So you can see that we did nothing. We just made some changes and we uh, committed and pushed it to the GitHub server and uh, Google Cloud Build automatically took uh, those changes and built that Google, uh, Docker container and uh, deployed uh, that connected and deployed that uh, Docker container with the Google Cloud Run. And whenever you hit the URL of the Google Cloud Run, it will show the content of the Docker image that you just published from the GitHub. So you can see how easy it is. Uh, so you can use in in your project. So if you have any questions about uh, Google Cloud Run, then you feel free to ask in the comment section. So I hope you liked the video. If uh, this video is helpful for you, then please don't forget to like, like, subscribe, and share this video with other uh, friends and family. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.